So last week we focused on non-judging, right? We gave ourselves that space to just be, right? To uh, just allow the thoughts and the chatter in our minds and in our being, the non-judgment, non-judging part is very important in, in this practice, right? This is practice. Every time we come to our meditation cushion or little corner of our space to just check in and to breathe, right? To breathe fully. Non-judging allows us to disengage that part of ourselves from the chatter in the mind. And as I said in my, um, in my introduction last week, non-judging allows us that space to just be, be with ourselves, to be with our breath, to be in the present moment. And, and also it allows us to grow in our practice, right? It doesn't, uh, it's, it doesn't get in the way of our just showing up. And so with that, I invite you all to close your eyes and to root down through your seat, wherever you are, just get any, get any wiggles out. And just get settled. We'll do a little bit of light chair yoga. It's beautiful to see everyone finding their sweet spot. Slowly bringing attention to your breath, just checking in, not controlling it in any way. See if you can embody today's focus, which is patience. Embody patience through your breath by simply experiencing the sensations of air moving in and out of your body. Allowing your breath to be that gentle reminder that there is no need to be impatient with yourself because the mind is judging all the time. Right? It's, it's what it does. It's its job, it's just doing its job. Labels and compartmentalizes and categorizes. This practice of becoming still is a practice of just observing, just bearing witness to it and not being swept away by whatever to-do lists you're coming up, you're composing in your mind. By practicing sitting in stillness and simply noticing the rising and falling of the abdomen with each breath cycle, we give ourselves room, room to observe our thoughts, space to notice our emotions they come up. And patience gives us that fortitude to be and to remain still without being swept up in a way by our thoughts and our emotions. Patience can be a particularly helpful quality to invoke when the mind is agitated. Practicing patience reminds us that we don't have to fill up our moments with activity and with more thinking in order for them to be rich and fulfilling. To be patient is simply to be completely open to each moment, accepting it in its fullness. Feeling fullness now as breath comes into your body. 
and your belly gently expands and noticing it deflate as the breath leaves the body. Following the rhythmic movement of each breath, the rising of the belly on the in-breath and on each out-breath, letting go. bringing full attention to all the sensations of the breath. In and out. In. And on your out breath, bring your chin down to your chest. And inhale, circle your chin over to the left and up. And exhale, bringing your chin back down, circling it back down to your chest. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, circling up. And exhale, bringing the chin back down. Two more. One more. And go the opposite direction. Inhale to the right and up. And exhale to the left and down. Three more times in. And exhale down two more. And last one, releasing tension in your neck. Now we do shoulder rolls, inhale, gently shrug your shoulders up and exhale back down. Do this three or four times on your own, using your breath as a guide. Releasing tension throughout your shoulders and upper chest and upper back. It's the last one. And reverse in the opposite direction, anchoring through your breath, feeling tension melt away from your shoulders. Last couple of times. And with your next inhale, circle your arms up overhead. Palms meet and exhale, bring your palms to your heart center and down to your sides. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, palms to heart center and through and down. And two more times, inhale, circle up. Exhale, palms to heart center and part. This is the last one. Inhale and exhale. Thumbs to heart center and keep it there. How does patience feel in your body? How does it land within your consciousness? Is it something that comes easy to you? Or is it something that is especially challenging? And bring your palms down to your lap. And let's do some torso twists. Inhale, grow tall through your spine. And exhale, twist over to your favorite side, placing the opposite palm and to the knee. And inhale back to center. And exhale to the opposite side. And back to center. You do that a couple of times if you're feeling extra locked up.
Noticing twisting a little deeper with every pass. And settle back down. Allowing the arms to lie heavy alongside your body. Placing your palms on your thighs. Facing upwards to receive your practice, the gifts of your practice. Or palms down to be more grounded. It's up to you. This is your practice. Becoming aware of the places where the body makes contact with the floor or your bed, or your meditation cushion. Becoming aware of your entire body from head to feet, settling in. In this moment, there is nothing to do, nowhere to be. This time is for you. This time is your sanctuary. A respite from the busyness of life. On your next exhale, open your mouth and let the air out of your body empty out. Ah. Inhale through your nose, fill up. Hold at the top for a heartbeat and open your mouth and exhale with an audible sigh. Ah. In through your nose. And out through your mouth. Ah. Inhale through your nose, fill up. And exhale, open your mouth. Ah. Beautiful. Inhale through your nose, holding at the top. And seal your lips. And your exhale, exhaling through the nose. In through the nose and out through the nose while gently constricting the walls of your throat, engaging your Urujayi breath, your victorious breath. Continue to breathe this way, inhaling through your nose and exhaling back out through your nose. On your next exhale, allow your attention to shift from your breath to the bottoms of both feet. Applying our intention of patience throughout this region of your body. Expanding your awareness to include all of the feet Letting attention rest in the felt sense of each toe, the soles of your feet. Noticing contact with the surface of your mat, a meditation cushion, touch of a sock. Noticing life and aliveness inside those feet. Coming into the ankles now. Noticing the place where the feet and the legs connect. Sensing now into the lower legs and the knees. Bringing awareness to sensations that are always there, that are always present. Coming into your upper legs bringing attention to the bones, the flesh, the musculature of this region, this region of the body, allowing any tightness or tension you may be holding to just flow out of you. And coming into the pelvic region, allowing attention to settle here around the hips, 
around the glutes. Noticing points of contact with the surface beneath you. Bring gentle awareness now to your lower back and lower abdomen. Seeing if you can receive this next breath in this softening belly. Feel the relaxation all throughout the rest of the body. Continuing the scan and bringing attention up the torso to the area of the heart and lungs. The rib cage, the thoracic spine. Allowing for and making space for whatever is here. Allowing attention to settle now on the shoulders. Seeing if you can let the shoulders soften. Feeling any tension that might be present now begin to release and dissolve. Feel the full length of both arms. Bring awareness to the hands, inviting the hands to soften, and checking in to see what this does to the rest of the body. Allow relaxation to travel up the arms. Simply being present from moment to moment and as much as possible. To focus on the body with a patient, curious attention. Moving attention now to the neck and the throat. Feeling sensations in the throat as you swallow. Noticing tension in the neck. Seeing if you can breathe into the space. Bringing awareness upwards to the jaw. Becoming aware of your ears. The inner and outer ear. Possibly noticing the sound and the impact of sound on the ear. Bringing your awareness through your face. Noticing if you're clenching your teeth. Noticing how the chin feels at this moment. Noticing sensations of the lips around the mouth. Throughout your cheekbones. Bringing attention to the eyes. the entire region around the eyes and eyelids. Noticing shadows of dark and light. Noticing now the forehead. Sense into any lines of tension, this region of muscles. Can they be relaxed even more? Just notice, be curious, what's here, what's now?
making your way up through your scalp to every hair follicle from the back of the head up towards the top of the head, the crown and scalp. Now the entirety of the head. Now bring the whole of your body into awareness from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. The whole body sitting here, taking in the whole of your body, breathing here, being here, being present for each moment, for each breath. Not trying to do anything. Not trying to get any place. Simply being with your whole self. I would like to close our practice with words by John Kabat-Zinn. Patience is a form of wisdom. It demonstrates that we understand and accept the fact that sometimes things must unfold in their own time. as you are ready. Reawaken your extremities by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Circle out your wrists, your ankles. And with your next inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, palms meet. And with your exhale, bring your thumbs to heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice and your energy with me today. I thank you for showing practice and patience and your commitment to being still and being quiet. I thank you so much. <laughs>